the overriding uh, liturgical concern with these churches was the audibility and the visibility of the preacher. The need to have clear lines of sight meant that obstructions such as pillars weren't favoured and large, undivided spaces were the goal. There was a model of such a church that Wren and his team could look for. It was built before the fire. This, of course, was Inigo Jones's St. Paul's Covent Garden, the first new church in London before the reign uh, of Queen Elizabeth. And this had to uh, grapple with the issue of a new type of space for the Anglican tradition. It was, basically, though many of you will have been into it, a single room. And its pulpit was the single most uh, expensive um, fitting. So the city churches uh, took this as their model. Many of them were built very quickly uh, and very cheaply in the context of an extreme shortage of building materials. Wren took a very pragmatic approach, treating each church, its site, its surviving walls, and the preferences of the individual church wardens uh, distinctively. There was no stylistic dogma. Every style known to man was, a, was applied to these churches. Well, not quite, but virtually. Um, each church was composed using a mix of Gothic and classical elements, drawing on native traditions. As they were almost all built on cramped sites, uh, here's St. Stephen's Wall Woolbrook, uh, the churches were really designed to be appreciated from the inside. Externally, uh, they were plain, and generally they had a single show front, just one bit where the money was put to, um, to show off. Their greatest architectural expression was, of course, their towers and their steeples. Here's St. Mary Le Beau in an old print. And I use an old print rather than a modern photograph because this uh, makes a very important point, um, and that is that these uh, towers, each one of which was deliberately designed to look different, was, uh, were uh, towering over the roof lines of the houses that were built after the fire, all of which, by regulation, had to be of a uniform um, height. Uh, 